Hey everybody, it's Sunday, heading over to the uh, studio right now, going to put an hour or so in trying to clean things up, start boxing things up, maybe even start taking up some of the floor. I got notice finally, an email from uh, the new landlord last night, roll these windows up, turn on the air. And uh, they're saying they're busy getting things ready and they have one more thing to do and I can probably start moving in Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not gonna get the keys, <coughs> excuse me, Monday or Tuesday, which is not giving me a whole lot of time. Um, well, I guess, I mean, I don't have to be out of the other place by the, till the 5th, but I mean, I have to clean the place up make it look somewhat presentable. I don't know how much, I don't know if they want me to take down the old walls that I put up. I had planned on leaving those. I plan on taking up all my hardwood floor that I put in the Pergo style hardwood floor. I'm gonna use a lot of it in a new place. And some of it I'll probably just trash because it's trashed. But a new place, I have to put up some walls I know I'm going to put up at least one wall in the back, and I'm most likely, almost positively, going to put up a wall in the front, too, to create a small lobby space. And so when I'm taking those more intimate photos, um, no one can peek in. People don't like people peeking in when they're doing intimate photos. And there's a Mexican restaurant right um, next to us, next to me, so I guess I'm weird I was peeking in. It's, it's tinted front window because it used to be... A, curves fitness place and they didn't like people peeking it in anyway so that's why I'm debating I might put the front wall in later so they didn't want to get the keys and everything I might just put the back wall in throw the floor in be ready to go I have three sessions this week coming up one Monday afternoon evening and then I have two next Saturday and I don't know when the next session is after that so that's gonna be the, the moving the big movie where I have to move my lights and everything over um, after Saturday. I'll probably do that Sunday or Monday. Because when's the first? Isn't the first like. The first isn't until Monday or Tuesday of the following week. So I may have another week. You know. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. I did go to the swamp meet this morning. Um, actually, the whole family went yellow net or not nope and uh, it was nice they all get out and kind of walk around I got a uh, picked up a few things I picked up a Xbox hard drive 60 gig for a buck um, I sold the last two I got for 10 or 12 bucks a piece sold one to Wesley I uh, hope it worked out I haven't heard from you Wesley so I hope it worked for you the other one didn't give me bad feedback, so I guess they worked. And I picked up uh, three games. One was a Spider-Man. No, it wasn't Spider-Man. It was a uh, Star Wars operation game. Uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO. Uh, I had all the pieces. The funny thing is, I picked that up for two bucks. And funny thing is, um, after I bought that, just walking down the aisle the, to the, a couple booths down, there was another one. And it was missing pieces, and he wanted five bucks for it. So, yeah, no thanks. Didn't get it. So, and then uh, another guy had a nice condition. I mean, a little bit of scuffing on the box. A Jumanji game. But it had all the pieces in it this time. So that's going to Amazon. I picked that up for two bucks? I think not three bucks. I paid five bucks for two games. So I think that one was three bucks. The other one was a uh, Avalon type game from the Makers of Risk. I don't know. I might show you these games at the end of the. When I get back home, I'll do a quick little haul at the end. And then, um, so that's three games. And then I picked up a uh, Mr. Coffee little espresso machine that it's all complete, has all the parts, and it looks good. It, I picked it up for two bucks. I think I did. Um, I'm probably going to try to sell that one whole first, but when I did the research in the eBay app, I saw a lot of completed solds for the parts too in 
you know, like 12 bucks just for the little glass, what do you call it, car phase, or I don't know, the little pot. And this one came with a little stainless steel frother pot as well. And um, a pan, or whatever you want to call it. So the parts sold well on this thing. So I know I can at least sell the parts. But I'm going to add the parts up and compare it to the hole. And we'll see where I go with that. So I'm here at the studio. I'm pull in. I'll show you around a little bit as I start doing work. Talk to you in a few minutes. Nope. I'm gonna miss this place, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave all this stuff up for the week through Saturday. I'm probably gonna take this floor up. Um, hmm. If not today, then uh, Tuesday after my uh, Saturday session or Monday session. You know, the problem is one of my clients next Saturday is a new client, which is kind of, I would like to have them a nice presentation, but uh, kind of do. I've already started taking my office apart, you know, stacking everything in one general location. All the shelves down. This is a floor I probably will not reuse, but uh, I'll take it out. Be the last one I take out though. Because, hey, if I can leave it here and I'm not going to use it, I'll leave it here. They don't mind. i got to put that wire up there and close the ceiling up. And i got to box, start boxing the stuff up. A lot of stuff I'll take home first, I guess. And then figure out what needs to go to the new place. Old canvases I don't display anymore. Should probably see if I can contact some of the old clients and see if they want some of my displays for uh, for themselves at a discount. And then I have all these uh, sample handbags. Maybe I should put these up on eBay. See if anybody wants to buy a handbag with somebody else's baby on it. I mean, they're really nice handbags, high quality handbags. Gina Alexandra, whoever she is. But most of these are. I think I shot that one. Yeah, that was the one I shot. The rest were samples from the, and this one I shot too. But the other two are samples from the manufacturer. But I don't even remember who those other two are, so I don't know if I can contact them. Maybe I'll eBay them. That's got to be a thing, having a, a handbag with somebody else's baby on it. Yeah, take that off the wall. I already got those off the wall last week. And I'm not going to have room for all this stuff. <coughs> the new place. So, <coughs> mm. figure out if I can use it at home or Craigslist it. And I probably have to box up all the toys. I had, like I said, I have a newborn tomorrow. It's a boy, though. I don't think I'm going to need any of the tutus or the headbands. And then next Saturday is a boy and a maternity, so. Yeah, I might start getting those boxed up. I think today I'm going to take this wall down so I can reuse the 2x4s at the new location. Try to save me a little bit of money. And I don't shoot too much with this clothing, so I'll probably take that home and start uh, maybe eBay some of that stuff off. We got some trash back here, some older tutus, some neon yellow panties and bras. Don't even know where they're buying that. That might have been left here. So, yeah, that's what today I'm going to try to organize things, get it all what I can put into one area. So, I like to do that so I can see clean areas and then I can see what piles have to go know how I'm gonna shift it over hopefully I'm gonna have a friend with a truck help me move the big stuff the cabinets here um, the other big thing in the lobby this stuff I can fit in my truck or my hamster car I don't have a truck anymore light went out again and that I can probably fit in my car so that's what I have set out for me it's gonna be a busy week 
so um, tiring week. Hopefully I can take it easy a couple hours at a time and not push it and not trigger a flare up of the fibro or whatever I have since I've been doing pretty well lately. That's one thing I won't miss about this place is the traffic. On a major street out here it's hard getting in and out. Parking is a pain here since they put the two restaurants in here especially around lunchtime any day and there's just no parking. So the new place will have better parking because it's not here or anything. But I still will miss it. All right, I'm gonna get to work. I'll talk to you guys a little later. I'm back at the lily pad, my office. My hair is a mess. Let me take a shower. Um, yeah, I spent an hour and a half there cleaning up here and there. Took down that wall. So, do a little bit more tomorrow morning, I guess. But I told you I'd show you the few things I got today. Um, this is that Star Wars operation game. It, the box is in great condition. It has a little dent in the back bottom corner, the bottom right here. Not too bad. But there's R2D2, C3PO, and it works. I guess different sounds. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I like those. C3PO said something there too. Money, cards, pieces are in there. Instruction sheet. And believe it or not, this simple little game goes for like 30 bucks on Amazon. In very good condition. Which is how I'm going to list this one. So it's going to go over here in the Amazon yeah. for now. Oh, I didn't tell you about this. A little bionicle doohickey. Um, I don't know if it's supposed to be both. Looking at it now, I hope it's not supposed to be both. So I didn't see parts of both. Now the thing is, the box has been torn open there. But it's got the instructions with no creases or anything for steam. And even the instructions don't say, because this is what the question I had, but it looks like it's just the green in the one bag. Because what it has is one bag sealed. And it looks like I don't think they can fit any other bags in there. So I'm just going to call this like new, very good. I mean, the problem is if this thing was sealed new, let's see if I can find it in the history here. It went for an absurd amount of money. New. Let's pull up Profit Bandit. Probably fast when we took the history. Probably faster to other, uh, no. Let me just scan it. Can't find it here real quick. Operation Star Wars. There we go, Lego Technic Bionicle. I don't know if you can see this. Probably can't because of the glare. But right there it says two hundred and seventy-nine dollars new FBA. The buy box is hundred and ninety-four dollars market fulfilled. So um, I picked it up for three bucks. It's not new, unfortunately, but I can get maybe it's like new. I haven't checked eBay to see what it's going for there. But uh I'm gonna ask. It says it has very goods here for thirty bucks. Even at that, I make a decent profit. But I'm going higher and see what I can get because the box is in good shape. It's just the back is open. I mean, if I want to be a real jerk about it, I could maybe glue it shut. But I'm not that way, so I'm not gonna do that. But that was pretty good. Yeah. Oh. Xbox hard drive, that for a buck. Should get three bu or ten bucks for it. Here's the Jumanji beans. The box has a little bit wear on the edges. Otherwise, there's no dents in the box anywhere. It's complete. The board, oh, it's crisp. You can hear it crackle as it opens. Even the inside. Normally, you find these things 
all torn up and beat up. It's got the instruction book, which I have extras if I needed it. Um, the parts are kind of scattered, so I'm going to rebag the parts and seal them. So it's got the timer, and that's what I often find missing out of this game is the timer. It's got all the dice. The decoder is in great shape, which I've just sold one of those. And it's got all the cards in. Well, I haven't counted the cards yet. But at this point, I'm going to I'm hoping it is. I'll count them later. But this is a nice find. These go for $40 to $50 plus on Amazon. In this condition, definitely. I sold them for $40, $45 in worse condition. And this is the one I got for $2. Bucks. I think I paid $3 for Jumanji. Um, Lionheart by the Makers of Risk. Customizable Medieval Warfare. It looked complete. The guy kept on saying it's complete, it's complete. So I'm being a trusting person. Trusted him. And this one was only going for like 20 something dollars on Amazon in very good condition. But uh, it has boards, it has instructions, it has pieces, dice with little horses, with little knights that ride on them. So I'll have to go through this and see how complete it is. Dice, no flags. That's a knight with a flag. So it's a unique game. I haven't seen it before. Oh, I got a sweep down there. And then I got this for two bucks. I think two bucks. Yeah, he's asking three. I think I paid two bucks for it. But it's even got the box, which is cool. It's in good, very good condition. So, um, yeah, it's got the, I didn't check before, I'm glad it does, but it's got the little drip, drip pan. Those are often missing. And if I parted this out, I could part out this lid here, the knob over here, the drip um, lid, the drip pan, um, the espresso tip here. You can see it, but the espresso tip can be sold separately. Um, it has the glass uh, carfe, uh, no rust on it. Really nice. You know, if the wife lets me keep it, I can sell it. She might want to make stuff on it. Now, the filter basket and uh, filter holder is in excellent condition. I mean, this is the best condition one I've found. So, like I said, I'm going to try to sell this complete first. And it even has a little scoop. And a screw and a golf tee, don't know why, and a little frothing cup. So I'm going to try to like to see if I can get that uh, some good money complete. I'm going to add up all the parts and see what I can sell part-wise and then weigh the decision. But this is the first one I've gotten in a long time that looks so nice and complete that the wife will want to keep it. But yeah, that I can sell it as a complete unit. So, it's just easier to ship the parts. So, there's that. And that's all I found today. Yeah. Still working on cleaning the office up here. I'll give you a tour of the new office once it's cleaned up. But, uh, I'm exhausted. I got my strawberry lemon water. I'm going to take it easy the rest of the day list some parts. Um, I have to get a photo gallery up from yesterday. I started shipping already today, so I don't have to do it all tomorrow morning. My new labels. And then I'll probably do a little bit of more FBA stuff. Get some games together for the FBA so I can get a shipment out maybe sometime this week. But that's it for today. It was a carefree, just relaxed time of day. I got a little bit of work done, got a little bit of sourcing done. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope your weather's improving out west. Ours is warm again back in the 80s. And I'll try to check in this week. It'll be a busy week for me. Talk to you guys later. Stay positive.